So your shout outs for this theme park newsroom update goes to Cray Cray for Coasters, Falco Flair, Harry A and also Play Koala. If you want a shout out in our next video then please comment them down below and I'll get them in tomorrow's video. That is it for your shout outs and let's get into this theme park newsroom update. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child, Donkster Born, Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about Drayton Manor because something very interesting has popped up uh, from um, a news source which suggests some kind of deal is happening and also a company, has a brand new company of operations has been set up uh, as well so uh, basically, we're going to discuss all of that in this video, uh, but before we get started, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Child YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So according to Tower Street, they've picked up some kind of deal that surfaced between Drayton Manor and the Mellors Group. Now the Mellors Group currently own Fancy Island Theme Park, which is located in Skegness. Now, new details on the company's house, and there's no idea what it means, but apparently a new company called Drayton Manor Operations Limited has also been set up. So this is very interesting news, and I find it to be interesting because is this potentially a brand new ownership for Drayton Manor? Now, of course, we can't confirm anything at this stage. We only have to go with the details that we've been given that are confirmed and just start speculating on what could potentially be happening with this deal. So not much stats and facts compared to other videos on the channel. However, this is going to be mainly a debating and speculation video and talking about realms of possibilities. But from those details, it seems like the Mellors Group could potentially be in line to buy Drayton Manor theme park. So that my friends is the latest, it's not a lot of stats and facts on this report but a lot of stuff um, being discussed here. Now obviously the big thing to take from this uh, rumour and speculations wise is that the Mellor Group could potentially buy Drayton Manor. Now obviously we can't confirm anything at this stage but from the news that Tower Street has picked up about a deal that surfaced between Drayton and Mellor's it's very, very interesting, isn't it? Now, the brand new company, Drayton Operations Limited, uh, or Drayton Manor Operations Limited, that could potentially be maybe a 50-50 partnership between part of the Mellors Group and the Drayton Manor owners. So maybe some of them are co collaborating together to create this Drayton Manor Operations Limited company. Um, which would make a lot of sense because, you know, Drayton Manor's owners don't want to sell up and go. But at the same time, I'm guessing they may want to, you know, reach a deal with someone to help them financially and help them, you know, get the part back up and running into the glory days. Uh, and I know in the enthusiast community, we've all been dying for a brand new coaster at Drayton Manor. We've been dying for replacement attractions at Drayton Manor. We still don't know what's happening with G-Force's site for definite at the minute. Um, lots of stuff being talked about, but, you know, we don't know for sure what's going to be happening. Uh, so maybe instead of this being a complete takeover, maybe this is potentially a 50-50 partnership and Drayton and Mellors come together and they create this little sub-company within the Drayton and Mellors partnership called Drayton Manor Operations Limited. So, uh, and I'm guessing the money to be used for Drayton Manor will be pumped into that company. So it's going to be very interesting. Now, obviously, there are other factors that could be a case here. So maybe... 
uh, to bring money into Drayton Manor Operations Limited, this brand new company that's been set up. Um, possibly we could see maybe a financial backer come in as like a third party uh, to help bring the financial side of it into the uh, into the company uh, and then Drayton and Mellors do the operations side of it because uh, the company is Drayton Manor Operations Limited so this will be a this looks to be a brand new company that's going to run the park so maybe Drayton and Mellor are a 50-50 partnership with the operations of the park but in terms of the financial investment and bringing in the financial money available for new rides, attractions, entertainment, shows, dining and eating outlets, shops, all that good stuff. Anything that's new attractions or entertainment or retail wise. Maybe the financial backer is the third party for this company and, and they bring in the financial investment. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen with this. But from the, from the sounds of it... I think it's going to be a very exciting time for Drayton Manor fans. Now, obviously, if you don't know already, I talked about it earlier. The Mellors Group own Fantasy Island. They own a couple of other properties as well, but the main turnaround really has been Fantasy Island. Back in 2014, the part was in administration. The Mellors Group bought Fantasy Island, and they've really turned that place around. Even with this pandemic, they've really turned this place around. And, you know, Fantasy Island has such a bright, bright future, and they've really turned the situation around at Fantasy Island. So... I think that the Mellors group could potentially be the ones to bring Drayton Manor from, um, you know, disaster after disaster into the glory days again. Now, I'm not going to say that Drayton Manor is the worst park in the UK, uh, but in terms of investment, they are on the lowest scale. You know, even though they said they were going to go for a more family theme park vibe, um, they, they, they haven't really been investing even in the family. So... You know, the, the the and we know it for years. We've done this for years. The financial investment has been very heavy on the Thomas Land brand. That's been their main focus point. But the rest of the park, to many people, feels either deserted, abandoned, or just not invested in. And there's a lot of great potential sites for major new attractions to accumulate the thrill seekers and create a, an all-round atmosphere, not just families. So bring the thrill seekers back in. Uh, the G-Force site, if that wasn't for a family ride, that would be a great coaster site. Splash Canyon, we don't know what's happening with that. Maybe that reopens in a couple of years' time. We haven't seen that open for a while yet. There's lots of areas in the park that is closed off, that's not been open for years. And there's a lot of SBNO attractions and sites, so they need filling in. So Drayton Manor really needs that financial investment to help boost them back up and to bring in brand new rides and attractions for the families, but also for the thrill seekers. Because Drayton Manor has always been fantastic as a thrill seeking family theme park. That's been my standpoint on Drayton Manor. I never thought, I, I never wanted them to go down the American Adventure route. I may have said in previous videos that it's a great route to go down. It's great to see them go with a family atmosphere. But on the other hand, I really prefer them to go down the Thrill Seeker route as well because they do thrill rides really, really well. G Force may not be the most light coaster in the country, but it was unique. It was something different. It was something. Uh, completely surreal for the UK so in in a unique way it was kind of a success but not as much of a success as they hoped it was shockwave most signature ride in the park stand-up coaster Europe's only stand-up coaster that's a thrill coaster and that's still here that's the signature ride in the park apocalypse arguably the best drop tower in the UK and up there with the with the top 20 25 in Europe uh, in my opinion so I think that Apocalypse uh, has been a great signature thrill ride for the park. So the the best success has come not just for the families with Thomas Land and Ben 10, which became Accelerator, but also the thrill rides as well. They've been a big success for Drayton Manor back in the day. So they need to do down the Thrill Seeker route. And I think that the Mellows Group, hopefully, will bring in a brand new roller coaster for Drayton Manor in the next few years if it's part of this partnership. So... I guess we'll see what happens with that, but um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say on this, really. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update. Stay tuned for plenty more over today. Uh, but for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Good location, I'll see you next this YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell, Kill on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.